Uh, it's recording. Open secrets. Welcome in Bambino. See, today I didn't say my Quebec word, Bienvenue. Uh, Trying to stay away from that in France, so I fall into it all the time. Uh, maybe I'll speak uh, Franglais demain. Um, but anyway, uh, welcome to Open Secret, which is your hot pocket for poetry. I mean, a uh, bottomless repository of inspired lines and circles that appear on a page or screen and seem to mean something. Uh, as well as melodies that can uh, bypass the mind and enter directly into the heart because that's what music does. Uh, is that the universal language, or is it mathematics? Let me, let me ask that person. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, and we also have a lot of comedians here who hopefully will not come up to the podium and say, Hi, I'm going to do some stand-up comedy now. <laughs> Which generally takes the piss out of the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> we have a, a theme tonight which is uh, freedom is dancing with both hands in the air. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I am a trained dancer, not many people know that. Uh, but um, what I was going to ask is, uh, who said freedom is dancing with both hands in the air? Anybody? Cesar knows, but uh, anybody know that? No, who would have said it? God damn it. <laughs> so since Cesar knows, I will do this. This is the uh, experiential gift that I mentioned for those who know the answer. Uh, so we can get down on one knee. I'm going to put my hands like this. And I'm going to recite uh, one of the best poems in the English language by William Butler Yeats. It's called The Cap and Bells. The jester walked in the garden. The garden had fallen still. He bade his soul rise upward and stand on her windowsill. It rose in a straight blue garment when owls began to call. It had grown wise-tongued by thinking of a quiet and light footfall. But the young queen would not listen. She rose in her pale nightgown. She drew in the heavy casement and push the latches down. He bade his heart go to her when the owls called out no more. In a red and quivering garment it sang to her through the door. It had grown sweet-tongued by dreaming of a flutter of flower-like hair. But she took up her fan from the table and waved it off on the air. I have cap and bells, he pondered. I will send them to her and die. And when the morning whitened, he left them where she went by. She laid them upon her bosom under a cloud of her hair, and her red lips sang them a love song till stars grew out of the air. She opened her door and her window and the heart and the soul came through. To her right hand came the red one, to her left hand, that's my right hand, to her left hand <laughs> came the blue. <coughs> they set up a noise like crickets, a chattering, wise and sweet. <coughs> and her hair was a folded flower and the quiet of love in her feet. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Shazar, for putting up with my wedding proposal. <laughs> you have my answer at the end of the week. Yes, think about it. All right, so yes, Shazar, uh, is it Doja or Doha? Doja. Shazar Doja is our special guest visiting us all the way from Luxembourg. Woo! Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you more about him in a minute. His parents are here. Uh, I just wanted to quote... Uh, a few things from Rumi, uh, after whose book, Open Secret, this show is called. Um, and uh, one of them, which I put on Facebook today, if you haven't seen it, is Dancing is not just getting up painlessly, like a leaf 
blown on the wind. Dancing is when you tear your heart out and rise out of your body to hang suspended between the worlds. Ooh. <laughs> um, uh, maybe I'll spread these out all night so we can start. But uh, I will just say one other thing, um, which uh, is this. Rumi said, dance when you're broken open. Dance if you've torn the bandage off. Dance in the middle of the fighting. Dance in your blood. Dance when you're perfectly free. Yay! Mm. All right. Uh, no one is forcing you to. Uh, except me, it's mandatory. Uh, we're going to begin with our featured artist, uh, whose parents are here, I, I might have said that already, uh, and many of his friends. Uh, his full name is Syed Shezar M. Doja. So he's from Bangladesh. He's uh, widely published around the world, everywhere from uh, the San Antonio Review to um, Monsoon Letters, uh, in Bangladesh, Sticks and Stones, other publications. Uh, he wrote, directed, and acted in a play called The Madman's Lament, which won uh, first prize uh, in the uh, Symbiosis Festival in Pune, India. Um, he's uh, sent me a lot of his poetry uh, through electronic means because, uh, as the band Per Ubu sang, uh, we have the technology not available before. <laughs> I think he's being sarcastic about society. Anyway, um, so his first book uh, is uh, in the process of being published. Uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, he was also selected uh, in a pan-European uh, manner to represent Luxembourg uh, in a art project commissioned by the city of, uh, or in the city of Amsterdam. So I would like to welcome uh, a gentleman whose lack of uh, gift for words, is incredible, uh, likes to use what Robert Pinsky would call the nature of poetry, the surprising juxtaposition of words. Uh, and uh, he mixes a lot of things from the moderns to the mystics. Uh, let us please welcome Cesar Doja. Yeah, so I have a timer ready just so that if anybody wants to take a nap, now is a good time to start. 